GTA Online is in its eighth year, which is just crazy to think about. So we're gonna look back at just a few of the things that have changed. There's way too many to put in one video. These were just some of the first things that came to my mind. I went back to PS3 to record a lot of these clips. So if there's any other parts of the game that you want me to compare, let me know and I'll make a part two because I had a lot of fun going back and getting these clips, so enjoy. Yes, we just opened. Take it easy, I'm doing it. I can't go any faster, please. Now please just go. Back in the day, we had to rob stores for just over a thousand dollars each, but today we can rob an entire island. And if you're wondering what the, the money difference is there, if you rob a store for about a thousand dollars, that takes a minute. Where now you can do a Kayaparika heist in about an hour and get about $1.5 million. That's over $20,000 a minute compared to about a thousand dollars a minute if you were lucky back in the day. One of the things that newer players don't really understand is none of the stuff that was in the game today was there at launch, particularly things like vehicles. The easiest way to see that is going back to PS3 and looking at how many vehicles aren't there. Now this doesn't exactly simulate 2013, this is from about 2014, 2015, but even then you can see that there are nowhere near as many vehicles in this version of the game. All of that stuff is new. The best way to sort of emphasize that is to look at Warstock Cash and Carry. I mean, look at how few vehicles are in Warstock. That was it. Moving across to the 2021 version, man, there are just so many vehicles. Does anyone actually know all of the vehicles in the game? There's way too many to memorize, surely. But scrolling through here, you've got just so many vehicles. You've got flying bikes. You've got flying everything. Man, it's, it's crazy. And none of that stuff was there at launch. And that's not all. We're not going to go over every single vehicle, but things like Benny's and Arena War vehicles, they're only pretty new additions as well over the last few years. So none of this stuff was in the old version of the game. This one's gonna blow the minds of any player that just came into GTA over maybe the last year and a half. Because while the casino is the heart and soul of GTA Free Roam today, like it's one of the only social spaces in the entire map, it's only been here since the middle of 2019. This is what it looked like before. You couldn't go inside, you couldn't do anything. It was just another building on the map. Flash forward to today, and we actually just got another update to the casino. So not only do we have a casino where we can spin the lucky wheel every day and maybe win a car, we can go and gamble just like a normal casino with a bunch of different games. 
we can actually buy the penthouse of the casino and that'll set us out on a story to protect the casino we can also rob the casino in the diamond casino heist which is one of the cooler heists in the game and now there's a nightclub below the casino as well with the music locker everyone who's played for more than a year knows that but i mean a lot of people are just coming into the game now and that might come as a surprise Races are another part that get me really nostalgic about old GTA. If you've ever watched Fast and Furious, think of that series just like how GTA Online has progressed. The first few movies are all about sort of street racing and that sort of street racing vibe, but as time went on, it sort of got less and less realistic. Not that that's a good or a bad thing, but that's just how it was. Fast forward to 2021 and you can create your own, I mean, really everything, whether that's a race, whether that's a team deathmatch, any sort of game mode, you can create your own custom races. And while for most people, you're not going to create anything too special, in the hands of the right people, you can make some insanely fun things. Free roam activities have changed a lot. Back in 2013, my favorite free roam activity was when the group sex vans randomly spawn across the map, letting everyone in the lobby know. So it was basically just a race for everyone on the map to get to the van, blow open the back doors, and steal like the $6,000 that came out the back of it. That might not seem like much, but when you're doing missions that maybe pay out $9,000 for about 5 to 10 minutes work, or you're robbing stores that give you like $1,000 per store, which is nothing, $6,000 for just blowing open the back of a van was really, really good. Free roam activities today are a lot more advanced. There's a bunch of different types of free roam activities that can randomly spawn but my personal favorite are business battles business battles combine pvp and pve where anyone in the lobby can fight to steal a product and return it to their nightclub for money these can be a lot of fun if you get the whole lobby doing them but unfortunately where back in the day everyone would go for the free roam activities today not many people actually participate in them because there's just a lot of other ways to make more money which kind of sucks To go along with the free roam activities, how about just free roam in general, like the map? Personally, I forgot that we used to have a colored map back on PS3. But am I the only one that kind of likes that a bit better than the more black and white one we have on PS4, Xbox, PS5, and PC? I don't know, that's one of the more minor changes, but I thought that was something cool to throw in. And the last thing I want to go over for part one at least is the load times. This is infamous in GTA Online. It has always taken forever to load into this game. So let's see how far they've come. On the left, we've got the PlayStation 3 loading into online. And on the right, we have the new PlayStation 5. 